I've been here in Woodland Park a little over 20 years and you know I love being able to walk down Main Street and know more people than I don't. I see friends that we've worked on their vehicles in church on Sunday, uh, the grocery store, the gas station. You know, like I said, we don't have customers, we have friends and guests. We specialize in uh, folks with automotive woes. Uh, we take care of most everything, we're a general repair shop. Uh, we also handle tires. I've probably got the best crew ever. For someone to join the team, I need to be able to trust them to work on my friend's cars. Uh, so the, the highest level of integrity, uh, the rest of it I can teach. Fixing cars, I've been doing it for over 30 years. You know, if I can't find somebody with integrity and experience, I'll take integrity. I do everything. <laughs> no, I have the service manager here. Um, phone calls, pricing, making sure the customers get taken care of. The techs that we have, uh, all different personalities, uh, as you can see, but um, extremely, extremely good guys to work with. They work together tremendously well. Uh, one needs help with something. It, 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 the team effort that they have around here is, is great. There's a lady in the community that um, that needs some help. And the, the biggest part for this, for us, is to be able to help her. Now the competition part of it, believe me, our guys are very competitive. <laughs> they don't like to lose, Matt doesn't like to lose. Yeah, how our team's gonna do an auto bowl? I don't think there's anybody out there that can, that can do the work that our team does. Like I said, we work together every day. Shane is my uh, newest technician. Awesome attitude, great technical ability, um, uh, very conscientious about what he does. All right, Shane Worky, W O. Um, sorry. Okay. Now, Shane Worky, S H A. <laughs> Should I do it the first time? There, good. Been doing this about 25 years, 26 years, and my dad was a mechanic, grandpa mechanic, dad had a shop when I was growing up, so just kind of grew into it. Actually, I've been looking for a Jeep. Mac had a couple Jeeps out, so we drove by, my wife and I drove by one Sunday afternoon and stopped by just to look at him, and Mac happened to be here. Talked to Mac for about an hour and the next day he called me up and wondered if I wanted to work for him. So, A lot of times in a big place, big dealership, you kind of feel like a number. Here you just feel kind of like family. So it's more than just coming to work, it's you feel like you're working with some friends too. Well, Max says he, when he was hiring me on, he wanted to find somebody that could work on his friends' cars because he considers all of his customers and stuff friends. You know, we're just a little small shop up here in Woodland Park, but we can show the city folks something. I've always been kind of the one that, uh, you don't see me coming, but all of a sudden you see my taillight, so. <laughs> Leonard's just a machine. Uh, best attitude you could ever ask for. Uh, work ethic that's impeccable. Uh, his technical ability is stellar. Uh, just can't say enough about Leonard. Yeah, I did football and track. Uh, I was, I was, uh, ended up, you know, it's pretty fast on my feet, so used to be anyway. So I was raised on a farm down in Texas, and uh, my older brothers and my dad, they fixed everything themselves. So I kind of picked it up from them. Uh, whatever needed fixed on the farm, we fixed it, and then the neighbors started bringing stuff over to have fixed. And so kind of figured out that hey, you know, I can, I can fix things. And so whenever I did get out of farming back in '99. It just seemed like mechanicing was the best thing to get into where I could jump right in and you know fit right in start uh, start making money. So back in 2000 I got married and uh, my wife and I moved to Gunnison, Colorado from Texas and uh, just because we always love Colorado we love vacationing in the mountains and then one year we came up here and discovered this area and I just really fell in love with the area found a place to live and and I just went around town to shops and putting in my application and I got an offer from Mac. 
Well, experience on working on cars is uh, is a very key ingredient. You know, you you can uh, go to school on it, but until you actually get your hands on one and actually do everything, uh, experience is the only teacher there. I think we've got the experience and we've got the got the knowledge and got the work ethic. And I think we can get her done. My years of experience working on cars and in sports, uh, it's not uh, what you say, it's what you do. This guy is the, the rookie and we abuse him mercilessly for it. Uh, hired him, uh, he was a, a tire guy. Awesome attitude, ain't afraid to ask questions, so eager to learn. I've been a technician for four years, but I've been a real technician, a mechanic, for the last five months since I've been here at Bad Rock. I was doing tires for four years and then alignments for the last year over at Big O Tires uh, here in Willow Park and in San Diego. And then I uh, decided I wanted to do more, came in for an interview with Mac and got the job. It's, it's hard and easy. There are certain things where it's like, oh, you know what, cool, that, that's easy, but if you really want to get your hands dirty, I mean, you work with transmissions and transfer cases and actually opening things up and seeing how they work, it's, it's mind-blowing. But uh, I love it. I love the challenge, so. Leonard is like the greatest I've ever met when it comes to diagnostics and then with as quick as Shane is and stuff, and they're both always out there to help. Max is a cool guy, real cool guy. Um, we're taking, going out for go-karts pretty soon here, and I'm pretty excited about that. figured they, they bust their tail at work. Let's go out and bust our tail having fun. Yeah, I've been doing some farming, <laughs> digging some hills, taking some hills down, digging some holes. I think it's awesome Mac does this for us. I mean, this is one of the coolest shops I've worked for. You know, he's always finding work, and we try and work as hard as we can for him, and this is how he rewards us. And you've seen him today, he's like a big kid, so. You know, we've gone the, done the go-kart uh, racing. Uh, this is the second year in a row for that. Uh, at times, we've gone skiing. Uh, we've got whitewater rafting, you know, anything and everything. It's like, guys, you want, you know, think of something fun to do. And I'll find out how much it costs and see where we need to be to make it happen. And this bunch makes it happen. I just want to say uh, we get things done up here in Willow Park and can't wait to see you out there. <laughs> Unlimited substitutions between players are allowed with a minimum of 60 second notice to officials. So if you want to do a sub, tell me. One minute. Yeah, one minute prior. Okay. No running or throwing or unsafe practices allowed. Official will take note, <clears throat> but not penalized during the event. All events are uh, promptly start at 2 o'clock, which is about one more minute. And then at 5 with the official's whistle. Three, two, one. Here we go. Days. <laughs> Sky's <dirty. laughs> hey man, I took it apart, all right? <laughs> oh, crap! That whoopsie! I forgot walking. 
be black, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to be red for long. Right now we're doing a radiator the flush. Ones, so the wrong part. And what this right does, there. this machine will flush it all through. And they push the old out and replace it with new. Here in a minute when Shane gets through with uh, the stuff on the top, he's going to pick it up a little bit higher and uh, do the front wheel bearings and get that straightened out. Then we'll go ahead and pick it all the way up and they're going to do the rear shocks both differential services, drop it back down, uh, put the new tires on it, set it on the ground, change the spark plugs, and a few little incidentals on top. Keep the tools in the right spot so they're there when you need them. I'll let you know one thing I've noticed being in this industry. Your hammer is your best friend. Yeah. <laughs> He's taught me this is about everything I know besides tires. Taught me a few things on tires. <laughs> Pretty, look at there. Would you just look at it? Just look at it, guys. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? When I see a car like this, I just stop and I say, Would you take a look at that? Woo! Yeah! The car was uh, picked out by a local church, a lady that needed assistance on it. Uh, it needed a lot of work done to it. And, and uh, we volunteered our time, time and uh, Shop volunteered the facilities and the car quest, the parts. So everybody joined in together and just helping the lady out and see if we can get her car fixed for her. All right, boys, an hour thirty, halfway. bolt or the stud that is inside on the vehicle has seized up and in order for them to take the uh, the part out they're having to uh, cut through it with a welder. We're looking for speed, we're looking for accuracy, um, and a major factor is safety, I'm always looking for that. A lot of stuff that we do, it's safety, shoddy work can cause accidents, you know, kind of take that seriously. You got it, Scott! Uh, look, 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 look at that! <laughs> Somebody needs to dab sweat off his forehead. <laughs> Five minutes. Five minutes left. Yeah. Two minutes. Two minutes. We can overhaul the engine that amount of time. Yeah. Three, two, two one. one. Yeah. This was just a, a day in the life for my guys. This is the kind of work they do every day. Uh, my team rocks, always has. Uh, the guys have a good time. Uh, they enjoy what they do. They're very good at it. There's so much that we just kind of... like a blur, huh? Yeah, it's a blur. All I know is um, I help somebody out. 
That was fun. Uh, these guys ran their tails off. They did a great job. Um, they're very accurate, uh, very clean, um, and they did a great job. Yeah, this was a competition between shops, so you could flag most hours in the three-hour period. And uh, you know, the competition is nice. It, it gives you good incentive. It drives you. But uh, really, what this was all about is uh, fixing a car for a person who, uh, you know, a little bit hard times and needed to, needed their car fixed. This lady was brought to me by my lead pastor um, saying, you know, if there's a, a benefactor available, this is somebody in need. No, these guys are with uh, Audible. I don't know if you've ever heard of Audible. Okay. You will. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Single mom. Um, her, uh, she had been laid off. Uh, a little while later, her husband died in a motorcycle accident and pretty much left her between a rock and a hard place. Her car was having some significant challenges. Uh, you just about see air through the tires. Uh, it rattled like crazy and, and marked its territory very well. Most of what we did for the competition uh, was a lot of service work. Um, the, the rear shocks were bad, so this thing kind of bounced down the road. Uh, the rear brakes were bad. Uh, like I said, you could just about see air through the tires, so uh, Advanced didn't uh, offer tires normally, so I shamed my tire supplier, uh, U.S. Auto Force, into donating uh, the four tires for us. They were very gracious and very willing to, to uh, uh, get involved in this program. The biggest thing that it needed um, was too large of a job for the competition, so we had to finish that uh, on Monday. This is... 10 times the vehicle it was. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, man. I told them I've had that car almost 16 years. But I'm very grateful. Well, I know my girls are going to be grateful and I can get to work. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you guys, God bless you. I mean, she's working. She's working every day. And she's driving a vehicle that wouldn't make it through the winter. And, but she's doing all she can do. Yeah. She didn't want a hand out. No. She needed a hand up. Guys, they get along great together. Uh, no stress in the shop. Uh, you know, when we, we hit challenges like everybody does, we get together and, and take care of it. Uh, just love working with these guys. It's never dull with Sky around, as you've probably noticed. 
Uh, but when I went and talked to the technicians about this program, it was like, okay, hey, there's somebody in need. Would you be willing to, to donate a few hours on a Sunday afternoon to take care of this? And all three of them individually, it's like, when is it? Uh, you know, there's no hesitation, like, when are we going to do this? Auto Bowl is a great idea. Um, I think it really get, brings um, some guys that are always behind the scenes and gets them a little limelight. Um, you get to know the guys that are actually working on your cars. We'll be back next year, without a doubt. Uh, 2016, we'll be leading the pack. That's it for everybody. Well,